welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mitch Rivers. That's right, we're into box number three of Dominaria from my case. Let's get right into it. Hope you're all doing well on this Friday. I hope the week has been treating you well. What are you looking forward to for the weekend? That's right, thank goodness it's Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday, right? All right, let's see. Get that into the shot a little bit there. and Let's just get cracking. All right, our first uncommon is a Song of Fraley's, Weight of Memory, and our first rare is a Verdant Force. Oh, and we do have a foil in our first pack. Our foil is a Keldon Overseer, and we ended up with a Yarg Man. The Yarg Man. Boom. Memorial to Folly. Memorial to War, and a Josu Vess as our legendary creature. Now, interesting enough here, normally when your rare is a legendary creature, it takes up the legendary spot, and you end up with three uncommons. But we also ended up, so we ended up with a Tetsuko as well. So I don't know, maybe that's only when you have a foil that that happens? Like, so you when you have a foil... And your rare is a legendary creature. You get... No, no, because then you would lose the uncommon slot to the foil. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Triumph of Gerard. Final parting. And a Banalish Marshal as our rare. With a foil. So we did get a foil. Another foil. A Bailoth Gorger, or Gorger. And a Grun, the Lonely King. Oh, careful, careful. Short sword, all right. In Bolas' clutches, Orcish Vandal, and our rare is an Urza's Ruinous Blast with a Foil Saga, Foil Eldest Reborn. So three foils so far out of four packs is pretty crazy. And we got a Danitha. Pretty crazy, actually. We got a Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, Curator's Ward, and our rare is a Mishra's Self-Replicator with a Whisper Blood Liturgist. What do we got here? Knight of Grace, Damping Sphere. There it is. Our first Damping Sphere is very good uncommon. And our rare is a Steel Leaf Champion. With an Arvod. Whoa, wow, wow. Just throw all of my cards around. Throw the packs around. No one needs to know. I mean, everyone needs to know that you're throwing your cards around. Elfheim Druid. Thorn Elemental. And a Karn's Temporal Sundering. Again, I will say, Mr. Noah Bradley, you've done a phenomenal job on the art on this card. It's just beautiful. Just a beautiful card. Urgh. Wizards Lightning, Final Parting, and a Yogmoth's Vile Offering. This card seems really good until you realize that you have to have a legendary creature to be able to play it. And if your pool of limited cards doesn't have a legendary creature that card is just a dead weight in your hand let me tell you let me tell you Skizik, Gaia's Blessing and we got an isolated chapel as our rare here oh man foil mythic foil Phyrexian scriptures there it is holy moly those foil sagas look friggin sweet by the way So there's your foil mythic. And we got another Tetsuko. Alright, so we haven't opened any regular mythics yet out of this box in the first row. But we did hit a foil mythic, so there is that. Sarah Angel. Warcry Phoenix. And we opened up an Oath of Teferi. There you go. And we got a Tatova. Tatoiva. Tato uh, Tatiova. 
Tetiova. I assume that's how you pronounce that, but again, pronunciation, not really my strong suit. As most of you know by now. Most of you know by now. Goblin Warchief, Urza's Tome, and Shield of the Realm. With that means a legendary creature. See, we our legendary creature was our rare, so we got three uncommons. Whereas when we opened the Josu Vess, he's legendary, but he didn't count toward the legendary slot because we opened a Tetsuko in that pack as well. See, there's nothing behind this. So we got a Zahid Jin. I don't know. Like maybe that Josu Vess pack was just packed incorrectly. I don't know. Fire Fist Adept. Settle the score. And Sylvan Awakening as our rare. With another Grun, the Lonely King. That lonely, lonely man. Fungal Plots. Spore Crown Thalid. And our rare is a Daring Archaeologist. With a Foil Adliz, or Adliz. The Cinder Wind. The Cinder Wind. And a Garna. As our legendary creature. One of the guys at my LGS thinks that this card is going to be broken in modern because everyone will now be able to play wizards in modern. Red, blue wizards in modern. Um, if that's the case, great. Armathine Wall, because I just opened a foil copy. Spore Crown Thalid. And we got a Tempest Jin as our rare with another Rona. Dauntless Bodyguard, Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, and Juggernaut, which means legendary creature, and our first mythic, which is a Demon Lord Belzenlock. There he is, our first mythic. Only about halfway through the box and we hit our first mythic that wasn't a foil. Now, I mean, like, we hit a foil mythic, so that's obviously good, but still. We got a Lingering Phantom, Memorial to Glory, and our rare is a Kamal's Druidic Vow. Again, legendary sorcery. If you do not control a legendary card, you cannot play it. So be very careful in your limited pools to make sure that you do not play legendary sorceries unless you have a decent amount of legendary creatures in your deck already. Spore Swarm, Board the Weatherlight, and Rite of Bells and Lock. There it is. With a, t a Tatiova. Tatiova. All right, this guy, Champion of the Flame, Goblin Barrage, and the Antiquities War as our rare, with a foil, Feral Abomination, and a Baird, Steward, who makes all of your dudes have to pay mana to attack you. So what is that? What was that? Sphere of Safety? Was that the one that did it? I think it was something like that. Um, the Eldest Reborn. Goblin Barrage again. And our rare is a Cabal Stronghold with a Sissy's Legacy. All right, Fox. We're a little short on Mythics here. We need to see some more Mythics here. In Bolus's Clutches, Diligent Excavator, Shield of the Realm, and Ariel, Knight of the Wind Grace. So, see, as you can see again there, we had three uncommons because our rare was a legendary creature. So, that I think that Josu Vest card or pack was just packed wrong, which is kind of funny. Time of Ice, Howling Golem, Memorial to Glory, and there's another mythic, Moltani, Yavamaya's Avatar. There it is. Very nice. Big old green creature that can come back from the graveyard, which is always nice. Recursion is always good. Knight of Grace, Zulfirin Void, and a Siege Gang Commander. This card is very good in limited. Um, you can pitch things. And we got a Quande as our legendary creature. Look at this. This pack just kind of like fell apart. All right. Wizard's Lightning. 
the Flame of Keld, and a Gilded Lotus as our rare. So there you go, another Baird as well. All right, we are now two thirds of the way through the box. We've found two Mythics, a Foil Mythic, and a number of Foils. Only one Damping Sphere, Chainer's Torment, Triumph of Gerard, Orcish Vandal, which means a legendary creature, and it is a Grand Warlord Radha. There you go. All right, we're on to the last third. Last third of the box. Starting strong here with the Talarian Scholar. The Eldest Reborn. Jorah's Familiar. And our rare is a Dread Shade. With a uh, Valduk. Keeper of the Flame as our legendary creature. Another song of Fraley's, Knight of Malice, and our rare is the First Eruption. With another Yargle, the Yargman. So, let's see what else we can find. The set is actually quite large, as, as you should be aware. 269 cards in it. So your chances of getting duplicated rares is not very high. We ended up with a Weatherlight here, another Mythic. So that's our third Mythic. So we're we're still about one shy of the normal Mythics that I've seen out of these boxes, which is about four per box normally. Um, so Weatherlight, it's a, I don't have a copy of that yet, I don't believe. So that's nice for me. Um, it's actually not a ver not a bad vehicle. It's actually quite good. Um, four five flyer for four with c crew of three. Um, but when it attacks, when it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top five cards from your library. Among them, you may reveal a historic card, which is an artifact, a legendary, or a saga. Put it into your hand, and then put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Elfheim Druid. It's very good in limited, for sure. Champion of the Flame. Another, okay, so three uncommons means that we've got a legendary creature. And it's Traxo, Scourge of Crow, Krug. Scourge of Krug. But yeah, the Weather Light seems pretty okay, in my opinion. Especially if you're playing it in an artifact deck of some kinds, because you're pretty much going to always hit an artifact in the top five cards. Memorial to Folly. Song of Fraley's. Howling Golem. And another legendary creature. A, we got a Naban. Dean of Iteration. Okay. What else we got here? Skizik, Wild Onslaught. Oh, we hit a Jaya, Ballard. There's our Mythic. And I don't have a copy of her yet, so I'm glad to see that, because that's nice to have. Um, I think she's the lower of the three Planeswalkers from this set, but that's okay with me. Slimefoot as our legendary creature, which is a very good uh, card in Limited. Who doesn't like to sacrifice... They're sapperlings like nobody's business and gain life from it. Dauntless Bodyguard, Board the Weatherlight, and a Sulphur Falls. That's our second uh, buddy land. So there you go. And we've got a Slin Voda. All right, we're down to five packs. Five packs, and we're sitting at the four Mythic. That's about average, but we did hit a Foil Mythic in this box. So we'll see what else we can find. Song of Fraley's. On Sarah's Wings, very good uncommon. Digilent Excavator, and another legendary creature, rare. Evra, Halicon, Halcyon, or Halcyon Witness. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Halcyon, Hal, Halcyon, I don't know. Halcyon. Spore Swarm, Thalid Soothsayer. Memorial to War, another legendary. Oh, a foil island, though. That's pretty sweet looking. Pretty cool looking. And our our uh, rare here is a Karzo, uh, Karazov or Kar, Karz, Karzarov. Kazarov. Jeez, my goodness. My brain. My brain and my language and my mouth and my teeth and my tongue and work properly. Dang it. It'll never, it doesn't listen to me, so I don't know why I try. Fire Fist Adept, Curator's Ward, 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 
Wag. Jaya's Immolating Inferno. Or Jaya. Jaya's or Immolating Inferno. And an Adeliz or Adeliz. Hey, a Teferi emblem. There you go. Those are uh, pretty rare from what I understand. There's also a Karn emblem. Is is that am I? I think I'm not crazy about that. I think there is a Karn emblem. I don't think I've seen one. Wi Wizard's Retort, Thalid Soothsayer, and our rare is a Legendary Sorcery, which is Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, with another Slime Foot. And last, but not least, the last pack. Never underestimate the last pack. That's what they always tell you. But then it always disappoints you if you under if you don't underestimate it, right? Isn't that how this works? Time of ice on Sarah's wings and a black blade reforge. This card is also very good and limited, mainly because it gets plus one plus one for each land you control, which makes it fairly big. Um, and it can equip to legendary creatures for three instead of seven, which is insane. Um, and then we got a raff. So we only ended up with four mythics, but we did hit a foil mythic, which is Phyrexian Scriptures, which is pretty nice. Um, we only hit two of the Buddy Lands, which was uh, Sulphur Falls and Isolated Chapel. That's okay. We did hit the Gilded Lotus, though, which is nice. Um, the Manolish uh, Marshal as well is very good. Um, we hit a bunch of decent things, like the Cabal Stronghold is also quite good. Traxos is probably fine. The Black Blade is probably good. The Mythics are pretty decent. We only hit one Damping Sphere, though, which is kind of weird. And But we did hit a Teferi Emblem, which is which is actually, these, from what I can tell, are quite uncommon. Um, like, rarer than rares, right? Like, think of it this way. We opened four Mythics in this box. We only opened up one Emblem. So, and you get an Emblem in every pack. Or you get a token in every pack, right? So the emblems are pretty uncommon. It sounds like it seem it seems that way. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Mister Bevers. Don't forget to check out my store, NerdvanaStore.ca, for all your single needs, as well as my Patreon, where you can get discount codes to the store, as well as things like grab bags, booster boxes, bundles, all that kind of good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, may your pulls. Ever be better.